It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Let's move on to Luke's question. Considering that fund managers rarely beat the S&P over the course of 10 years, why should I consider target date funds instead of S&P when people struggle to beat S&P over time? Also, for reference, I'm 28, if that makes any difference on your response. Thanks again for all the insight. Well, Brian, I think we ought to, I think we ought to clarify something because, uh, you're, uh, Luke, you're right. There are target date funds where they are actively managed, where there's a manager that you're paying a part of the expense ratio to go choose what to buy. If you listen to some of the nuance of what we say, though, when we talk about target retirement funds, we say that we love for you to invest in target retirement index funds. It is a slightly different version of a target retirement fund where what they're focusing on is instead of individual security selection, the like underlying security selection, it's focusing on broad asset allocation based on an acceptable risk level given and des- a, a given a desired glide path. So if I want to retire in 2040, I'm going to go buy this set of index funds that will adjust accordingly between now and 2040 with an appropriate risk level for someone who might be retiring there. So we agree with you wholeheartedly. We love index funds, even when it comes to using target retirement funds. Where you can do that, use a target retirement index fund. Yeah, I I think a lot of people, look, manager versus index funds, you know, we love index funds. It's the dirty little secret that most people who are going money are doing index funds because of that statue shared about you can't beat the, they already smoked the fund managers over the long term anyway. That's what we're doing with our money. The problem, so with index fund, that box is already checked. That leads to your step two of the questions of what you should do with your money is, is that what do you do about asset allocation? Because look, yeah, you can go buy, and maybe in your 20s, a, a total market fund, a total market index, or the S&P 500, that's great. But when do you know when you need to start adding that element of diversification? There are a lot of people, if you just set it and forget it, that, that as you build more and more success, it gets to be harder and harder. I like how the indexed target retirement funds also give a nod to the asset allocation because not only are they doing the S&P 500 or large cap type indexes, they're also doing small caps. Mm-hmm. They're doing international indexes. They're also doing bond indexes. And look, for somebody in their 20s, go look at these things. Go to the, the biggest providers that offer these things are like the Fidelity Investments, mm-hmm. the Charles Schwab's, the Vanguard's. Yep. Go look at their index target retirement funds and look at the asset allocation. And this thing is not for your grandparents. I mean, as soon as you go put in when you think you want to retire, you're like, whoo. These guys, they're lighting it up. I mean, mm-hmm. they got some risk out there because that 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 glide path is going to be very aggressive in your 20s. But by the time you're you're close to retirement, it's going to be very conservative. And, and our goal is is hopefully, I'm just trying to take away as many distractions that keep you from how much you need to be saving and investing for yourself. Because this takes time on this journey of wealth building. And I don't want people getting so caught up in the investment side. Where they because remember, good investing is lazy investing, right. where you set it, forget it, and you create this automated wealth building process. I'm worried when everybody's focusing on, hey, how much should I have in large cap? How much should I have in small cap? How much should I have in international? You're wasting calories mm-hmm. when your account has not even reached a critical mass where you're getting the true value out of those components. Instead, you ought to be focusing on, hey, Let's set up the behavior, the automated wealth building. Now, how can I go increase my income? How can I cut my expenses so that I can put more money to work for me? I can put more money of my, or more of my time into building memories and doing other things that actually have value. That's why we have these type of rules. Love it. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, Ruby, can I throw one other thing we need to be done? Of course. Done? I just want to throw one other, This is so, in, like, I know a lot of people that say, okay, I'm just going to do the index thing, right? And I feel like this doesn't always happen, but I was literally one of the guys um, that uh, uh, work out in the morning. He's also in the financial industry. And we were. he was like, hey, what do you think is going to happen this year? And I was like, well, you know, the S&P 500 is down 19% last year. And so I kind of went through some thoughts. And he goes, oh, man, no. But I feel like all, I feel like all the clients I work with, man, they're like, they, they got a bunch of like super tech heavy stuff. Anybody who's got Tesla in their portfolios or the index funds, you know, they're down like 35, 38%. And I feel like, a lot of folks say, I'm just going to go buy a low-cost index fund. They'll see, oh, S&P 500 was fine, but man, what if I went and bought QQQ or what if I went and bought the Texas? It's the same thing that you saw in the late 90s where if you were just buying, you know, buying the boring index and not like the, 
the tech forward type indices, you were getting yourselves in trouble. I like target retirement index funds because behaviorally, it can serve to protect you from yourself. And you can say, you know what? They got the asset allocation. They're figuring out the index funds. They're doing that piece. I can focus on exactly what Brian said to focus on because I think we all fall prey to that. Yeah. I mean, and it keeps you because, by the way, you said 30 or 40% on Tesla. 2022, Look out below. I mean, it was it was much more than that. It was it was like seventy. He was referencing uh, tech funds that had Tesla in them specifically. Yeah. But yeah, I'm with you.